you put it in simple terms, serverless architecture means you're running your applications or solutions without worrying about managing your infrastructure or servers. So basically there are two types of serverless architecture. One would be backend as a service and the other would be function as a service. Backend as a service that you would depend on a third party application or a service to execute a certain amount of your application logic. Function as a service on the other hand would be compute containers that would be triggered by events. So you could run your code in these containers without worrying about infrastructure gain. Popular examples for function as a service would be AWS Lambda, Microsoft Azure Functions, as well as Google Cloud Functions. If I explain serverless architecture using a simple example, we could consider a web application, essentially an e-commerce solution, let's say. Now the traditional way of implementing this solution would be to have a client-side front-end application which would run on the browser and then the main server application which would consist of your application logic which communicates with a database. Now you would have your database and your server application on a server. If you try to implement this using serverless architecture, you would still have the front-end web application and then instead of your big serve application, you would try to separate it to certain elements and then replace certain parts with third-party applications or services. For instance, authentication and cache services. So you would consume these third-party services to make your solution more simple. And then for your business application or for your business logic, you would have multiple functions instead of one server application. You could also have a database service such as Amazon DynamoDB to store your data. Going serverless would have many advantages over traditional server architecture. The main advantage would be to reduce operation costs. When it comes to development, you might not want to implement services or you might not want to implement components that are already there. So you could simply consume a third party service or a third party application without developing things on your own. Another main advantage would be reduced operational cost in terms of scaling. In a traditional implementation, if you want to scale your solution, if you want you have inconsistent traffic or if your client base is growing you might want to add up new servers, set up uh, new clusters as well as to develop new features to accommodate upcoming traffic but when it comes to serverless you could simply scale without worrying about your implementation or worrying about infrastructure the cost would also reduce if you have inconsistent traffic as well as if your application is rapidly growing. First, you might want to consider vendor control and vendor locking. Because when you choose a particular service or a vendor, you might have to stick with that particular vendor for a long time. So initially, you have to consider the cost structure, the limitations that the platform has, as well as whether it fits your business need. So things might change on the way and it's not easy to switch from one vendor to another. For example, if you have an application running on AWS Lambda triggered by events on AWS Kinesis, you would not have the luxury of changing it to a different vendor. Simply, there could not be a service similar to that or the competitive platform or moving into the competitive platform would require significant changes to your application. The second concern would be your application is actually running on a server that you don't even know about. So if you're worried about the security, serverless might not be the best option. 
because there are certain standards or certain guarantee that is provided by the vendor but if it doesn't fit your requirements then serverless is not a viable option for you also since there are multiple applications from different customers running in same infrastructure the performance of your application might get affected from traffic generated by others applications as well as errors that could occur in the applications even though service providers and vendors who provide function as a service guarantee that there would not be such interferences it is always wise to consider this before jumping in so if you have considered these factors and if you think your application fits in why don't you go serverless